So one, I'd like to open the October 16th meeting of the Hadley Select Board. Uh, with us this evening is Amy Parsons, Jane Nevin Smith, and myself, Randy Iser, David Phil, and Molly Keegan will not be with us this evening. In accordance with Mass General Law, Chapter 22 of the Acts of 2022, signed by the governor on February 15th, 2022, I announced that this meeting of the select board is being recorded by Hadley Media, the select board's office via Zoom, and ask if there is anyone present who is also recording this meeting. Let the minutes reflect that nobody else has indicated that they are recording this meeting. Okay. Okay. And jump right into item 2.1. We have a special guest this evening, Omar Gomez, who would like to talk to us about his candidacy for the State House, Hampshire District Number Two. Hi. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Um, my name is Omar Gomez. I'm a city councilor in East Hampton right now. I'm the president of the council. I've been serving for four terms. Uh, this is my second term as a council president. Thank you for having me here. Thank you, Randy, Actine, Sherman. Uh, thank you um, for the community to find out information about me. You guys you guys can go to homargomez.com. I say yes, Homer, because start with the H. Uh, so homargomez.com, but it's homargomez.com. You can find me information there. I grew up in Puerto Rico. I have three daughters. I have a grandson. I've been in East Hampton since 2007. Um, I work in a funeral home. My wife works in West Peak State University, and I'm here to serve. Um, the people who knows me in East Hampton, and I'm going to talk about East Hampton because that's where I've been serving for the last uh, seven years, right? Um, people knows me like a the people's person. I love to be outside. I love to talk to people. I love, I love to go get coffee. I love to find out what is the real problems in the community. That, that way we can resolve it. Um, I one of those politicians that we believe that we should be out uh, staying, staying in office or just participating in meetings. We're not helping that many people. We have to be out. And that's me. I love to be out. I love to find out what is happening, that way we can bring those issues to the uh, people in power, and that, that way we can resolve it. Um, I speak another language, I speak Spanish, so if we have people in this community that need to speak in Spanish, I'm available to, to have those conversations too, uh, but I'm here just to help and to serve. In, uh, and again, um, if you need <clears throat> something from me, feel free to, re to reach me. I'm not crazy, but this is my number for one three nine seven seven twenty six seventy six. Feel free to text me. That will be always easier for me to respond. Uh, like uh, mo most of the time, I have meetings or uh, commitments, but I I love to give my number to the community because that's the only way that we can get connected. Uh, and again, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you for coming and good luck yes. in the election. And, and the last thing that I want to say tonight, this is the first time that I'm coming to this meeting, but it's not going to be the last one. I make a commitment with the Hatley community that I'm going to be at least one, once a month to be in this meeting remote or in person, but I will participate. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you so much. Okay, moving right along, we're going into the consent agenda, item 3.1. This evening, we have the minutes from October 2nd, 2024 and October 7th, 2024. Common victualler uh, license for Maple Farm Foods. Common victualler for Gomohar Realty Corp. DBA Town Place Suite by Marriott. One day wine and malt license for top of the campus outside the Mullen Center on 1025 24 from 530 to 730, and a common victualler for skinny pancake. I have one question. Is skinny pancake the one that was going in at Moe's? Yes. Okay. That's not the address, it's on the application. That's why I was curious. The B79 is not the right address. Oh, I don't know. I, it probably it is. is. 
It's definitely on the right side of the, uh, the okay. correct side of the road. I apologize for that question. Okay. Okay. I'd like to make a motion to um, accept the consent agenda as presented. Second. Okay, motion by Amy, second by Jane. Any further discussion? Um, with the top of the canvas and everything, they're all set, everything's good. They'll have the special conditions put on it as they are shown in there by the fire chief with the fire watch, the fire detail, and um, they know this. At this point, that's just become the standard operating procedure for this license. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. All right. Next up, item 4.1, public comments. Anybody in the audience or on Zoom that wants to speak? I do not have an audience. Okay, that's a no. Moving on, uh, item 5.1, old business. Special town meeting warrant review and preparation. And I believe Mr. Mason will lead the way on that. Sure. <clears throat> Okay. Um, Jennifer is going to have to help me. She'll jump in. Um, Jennifer and Linda worked really hard on putting this together. I have the uh, the financial ones. And Jennifer, do you want me to do these and you finish up with the rest? Or do you want to do it the other way? Can you, is it something you could put on the screen? I am pulling it up for you Okay. Awesome. right now. Thank you. Okay. Um, article one and article two, those are your budgets, your omnibus budget, uh, full, you know, general fund budget. And then article two is your enterprise funds budget. We are still, uh, working on some of the numbers. Uh, Linda and I should have everything squared away, um, by Monday or Tuesday, but it will absolutely be ready for what we would like to do is schedule a, um, by board meeting for next Wednesday between the select board and the finance committee. Uh, we will have everything in front of you by then. We're still waiting for a certification of free cash, and we are still making some adjustments to the budget requests that were made um, for all your budgets. Uh, Article three is a cleanup uh, for prior balances. They are all water reserve cleanups, and they will all be going right back into water reserves. Uh, Article four is your capital. Um, this is your total capital list of what was approved unanimously by the capital committee 400 um, for a total of $921,500. The funding source is located next to the amount to tell everyone where the funding will be coming from. And please note um, that the, uh, the folks at uh, several different people at town hall, as well as the capital committee, did a lot of work to whittle down what the original requests are to this list right here. And uh, I'll be happy to explain that to um, uh, explain that at town meeting, um, you know, to folks, just so we can make sure that we're clear how robust this process is. Yeah. 4.2 uh, is also a capital. That's a redirect, though. It's a simple redirect of the $310,000. For those water tanks, um, it was originally going to be made for uh, um, for redesigning them, but they're now going to be replaced. That was also approved unanimously. Article five, uh, we this is on every single um, special town meeting. These are simply simply prior year bills which somehow uh, got missed and uh, simply need to be paid because we can't pay them from prior fiscal years. Article six, uh, CPA extensions. The CPA is going to explain actually six, seven, eight, and nine are all CPA, right, Jennifer? Correct. The CPA will be there to explain all of those. Uh, they did a great job explaining them. Uh, Andy actually did a great job explaining them to the finance committee last night at their meeting. Uh, article 10. Um, Article 10 is your special revenue revolving fund and grant balances. 
Uh, the total, uh, basically, to, to transfer raise and appropriate the sum of $24,015.24. Um, the funding sources, again, are located to the right of, uh, of the item being requested. Article 11 is your prudent investor rule. I believe this is going to be assigned for one of the select board members to explain, or is this? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Article 12 is your transfer from pre cash to the state uh, capital stabilization fund. This is something that has happened in several uh, warrants in a row where uh, you try to put as much money as you can into the capital stabilization for the future years. Uh, Article 13 is something similar, but this is your employee compensation fund. Um, uh, they're requesting to put 50000 into the uh, general fund uh, free cash for em employee compensation. This is specifically for people who are retiring. Um, and there's, um, I'm getting confused now because I'm hearing myself talk. Um, this is uh, specifically for people who are retiring to be able to pay them out of their vacation time, uh, sick time buyback, and all of that. Uh, you have, I think, three or four pretty four pretty significantly lengthy um uh individuals with lengthy careers that are retiring this year uh, article 14 is the town wide speed limit i will explain that at town meeting uh, we had it in front of you folks a few weeks back uh it's basically the 25 mile per hour thickly settled or business district so we don't have to post speed limit signs all over the place we can just post four or five at the town limits uh, Article 15, this one is probably going to need a lot more explanation from the fire chief, and it will definitely be a conversation between um, this board and the finance committee. We've had a couple of different finance team meetings, and ultimately looking at the costs of continuing to run the ambulance. This is not to purchase the ambulance that was on the Capitol, the actual uh, truck itself. This is um, the cost of continuing the ambulance service. Um, the recommendation, essentially, in order to, to do what the, the town has expressed, they'd like to be able to carry more free cash <clears throat> into the next fiscal year um, for annual town meeting. So um, what the recommendation is, is to take 350000 from stabilization for this fiscal year to cover the cost of the ambulance service as we move into the next fiscal year, thus reserving um, potentially 750000 to 800000 in free cash to be able to attack the FY26 budget with. Mm -hmm. This will be a loan, uh, <clears throat> and it will be uh, it will be discussed robustly to decide how and when you know these payments are made to pay things back um, but that's like a twenty thousand foot view for you uh, and like i said this is something that is going to you know this, there's going to be some discussion about this at your next wednesday meeting mm -hmm. uh, we discussed it briefly at the finance committee last night it will be discussed in further detail <clears throat> on monday and then it'll be back before you uh, on wednesday is there can they, when they come back, of course, have some sort of simple numbers for the audience? Like, this is how much the ambulance has earned and is paying back. Yeah. And I think yep. that's what you really want to hear. Yep. And what that is up from what it was for the few months it ran the year before. Yep. Okay. Thank you. My intention is to um, have uh, the, fin the finance committee actually wants to talk, wants to talk to the fire chief as well as the DPW director about a couple of different issues. Uh, that that are uh, on the warrant for them. So uh, Mike will have, you know, already spoken to the finance committee a little bit and answered some of their questions. And I assume a lot of the questions are going to be the same when he gets uh, in front of you folks next Wednesday. We'll make sure that they're both here for, for questions. Article 16. Um, did we change the, we change it to contracts, Jennifer? Yeah, you're you're not using the one. I'm on not docs. using the most updated one. All right, so articles. Look up here. You can just read it from. Yeah. Article sixteen is your select board projects or your select board contracts. 
Um, essentially, we have two contracts that are out there right now or two two items that the select board has already decided on, but the funding was never in place for them. Your form of government study has actually already begun. Uh, people are already already doing you know the work for that committee. And the solar project study, I believe, was voted on by the select board this past June. The funding, unfortunately, was never uh, allocated for either one of those issues. And that third one now you have is your town administrator search firm, which we just sent the RFQs out today. And we will make sure that nothing is signed before the town meeting appropriates the funds for that. So we felt that the only possible way to, well, I should say this. The only way to, to, to get these funds is this way. Um, there's just no uh, no money uh, in, in different pots, you know, as far as we can see, to pull for these funds. Uh, and we do have to have all three of them in order to continue these projects. So that's Article 16. Um, I will do my very best to explain it to uh, explain it at town meeting. Uh, but all three of them are necessary because two of them have actually already already begun and or have been voted on and approved by the select board a little bit before my my time. And Article 17 is the last one that I had uh, on my page. And then Jennifer, I think, can probably take over is the Adair Place acceptance. We've met um, Randy and Jane and Scott have met and discussed this. Um, it's on the agenda for uh, a dare place to be accepted as a public road and um, for the town to take over maintenance. And my company's name is on this, but this plan that they refer to was done in 2006, well before my time on the select board. So I don't believe there's a, going to be a conflict there. Perfect. You wanna? Yep, sure. Okay. Uh so the next uh, articles are, are actually the bylaw articles. Um, one is about waste. And Randy, I feel like you could actually answer these better because you are actually on the bylaw committee, correct? Yes, when I can go. I'm not, I'm not a very good attendee, but uh, the, the, the Article 18, waste in the streets, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, but the, the big concern is that people are mowing their lawns, blowing the grass in the streets, shoveling their driveway, snow blowing, plowing snow into the street, uh, piling sticks and whatnot that they think the town's going to pick up, which we don't do anymore, in the street, making a hazard. Mm -hmm. So there's uh, just talks about what is rubbish and what is not, and you know, that you should not put it in the street. And the next one is the bylaw for constables. Yeah. And that is to make the constables are an appointed position instead of elected. And then from there is all planning board. Um, they have given me rough drafts here, but they'll be the official ones will be here on the 23rd. Okay. And that is your warrant. I think it's a good one. Um, the only, uh, I'm not exactly sure who makes this decision, but the, the only recommendation I would make as far as, um, consent agenda for your warrant, I'm not sure if you do consent agendas on STM, but my, our recommendation after discussing it, Jennifer and Linda and I would be that you could likely take articles three, five, six, and 10 and make them consent agendas. They're basically either transfer articles where money is going back into <clears throat> some type of town coffer or very um, small payments for prior uh, bill balances and things like that, which um, <clears throat> shouldn't, you know, shouldn't cause, as a consent agenda says, shouldn't cause much conflict that people would just right. vote it through. Your uh, Article 6 is simply a deadline adjustment for the um the cpa and uh 10 is your as the something similar to uh i believe number three so okay so jennifer if you haven't done so already would you please get the moderator a copy of this 
He absolutely already has a copy. Okay. He does not have the latest version, but I will email it to him tomorrow. Okay, as long as he knows there's some stuff going on with a consent, so he can uh, voice what, his opinion on that. We had often we, talked about trying to put all the consent articles together. So, so don't don't be married to where everybody is right now. Don't get it in your heart that a dare place is Article 17. Because okay. I'm, I'm going to shift a little bit more as we go through. And I know that a uh, finance committee wanted to talk about rearranging some of the articles as well. So I thought y'all could take that up on the 23rd. Yeah. So yes, everybody has a number right now, but that doesn't mean it's their number. Right. The only one I can guarantee you is article one, two, that's it. Mm -hmm. And the planning board will be at the end. Those are the only guarantees and we can okay. adjust accordingly. I don't think five can be consent agenda. And I think it's just some weird state rule because I always have to present that one at all the town meetings that I remember. Which one is it? It's the prior um, year in prior year invoices. It might be that it has to have a two third majority vote, which is why it can't be consent. Um, we'll double check on it. This was yeah. just a, excuse me, this was just a, 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 a quick conversation of the ones that were non-controversial, mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll get, we'll get there. This is just the first go round. Yeah, no worries. I just remember it's always some, it's like some weird rule. I think it, I think with it that, might be the I always, I always get to present it. <laughs> uh, this year they're low. Um, they are. I have it open. I've kept it open just until I hear from the accountant a couple more times. Mm -hmm. Um, cause they always seem to fall out of the woodwork, mm -hmm. but, um, it's so far so good. And Knock on wood, but it's it looks like it's going to be a low amount this year. Okay. Any, anybody have any other questions or concerns about at this point? Now, when are we doing the? Um, did we already set up the um, forms on November sixth? Yeah, the form. at seven p.m. Mm -hmm. Um, it'll be in person here and on Zoom. Um, alert has already gone out to the public telling them like I did a save the date that I had. I bet y'all all got in your email right. Um, and y'all are going to be on the 23rd with the, uh, finance committee and you'll meet with them and hopefully y'all be ready to take some votes and everything. So we have that ready for the, um, public forum. Okay. And right. town meeting is when November 14th, 14, 14. 7 PM Hopkins Academy. Thank you. All right. Okay. Moving along to item 6.1, employee, employee appointments, resignation, and retirements, police, DPW, and human resources. Okay. What is that? So, um, you will see one thing on there crossed out. Um, so we have only two uh, resignations. Uh, my administrative assistant, Lauren Trombley, resigned as well as uh, Jones payroll assistant Emily Silva has also uh, resigned their positions. Um, we're very grateful for the services that they provided to us and wish them well and uh, wish them luck in their future endeavors. The third one that is on there actually, um, uh, I spoke with Scott this morning. Scott is having a very hard time finding a mechanic and Seth actually reached out to him and um, and they had a discussion and um, he requested to be able to rescind his resignation. And at the same time, Scott was struggling to find someone to replace him. So um, at Scott's request, we have accepted uh, him being able to rescind his resignation and he is going to start back up uh, working with us. So I would just ask that you accept the two resignations that are not struck through on your agenda. Okay. Jane has motion to accept. Second. Amy has seconded. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. All right, motion passes unanimously. Next up, item 6.2, departmental update, Hadley Media. Alex. Uh, good evening. Good evening. How's everyone doing? Great. How are you? Good. Very good. You see me for save the best for last. So, 
في مومنتس كده صح ممكن there we go I promise it's short that's what you said last time <laughs> I have the power to stop them at this point there <laughs> Okay, Subjective. start your short presentation. All right, right, will do. All right, so this is uh, my report for this evening. Uh, I do want to um, thank everyone for your patience. With, uh, we've been having issues um, trying to broadcast our channels. At first, it was... Um, we had some IT issues going on with pretty much too many people touching our stuff <laughs> at one point. Um, where I kind of screwed things up, then that finally got fixed. And then our streaming provider took away our ability to take what's called an RTMP poll. Pretty much it's this URL that we could put into our server and it'll actually broadcast out. We're no longer available to do that um, unless we pay more, which um, unfortunately we'll have to wait till after town meeting because I did put in um, the raise and appropriate um to apportion some money to fund that service okay, can i ask a question while you're yes addressing? absolutely what does that mean how does that impact us you the talents people's ability to see what's going on mm -hmm. so we're not able to broadcast live on the channel we can still upload stuff to the channel we people would still be able to watch um our content and the meetings especially we on the show because we just can't um view it live on the channel you can still view it live on youtube okay why i thought our cable access gave us direct uh, capabilities yeah yes and no so we have to provide that portion of it we have to provide the live live stream part of it and that's not working because because our streaming provider that's not charter or cable cast took that away from us because they updated all their tiers and they in the tier that we had they kind of just took it off so it's basically a money thing jane yeah pretty much saying it's, it's, it's an extra 250 bucks we just gotta wait 250 dollars a year more more a year yeah okay but he said we gotta wait till after town meeting to see what he's got left for money Okay. Well, it, well, it's gonna be raised and appropriate, hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Um. When when finance committee speaks about it, I'll definitely okay. explain more. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions about the broadcasting? Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, we will get it up as soon as possible. I'm, I like I said, I appreciate everyone's patience on that. Um. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is it's gonna be very short. Um. Gonna give a uh, update on Hadley Media, what we've been doing. Um. A broadband update and a digital equity update, and then I'll give you what I'm going to need in the future um, to help us uh, continue doing what we get to doing. So this is a this is what we have for new subscribers, watch hours, and um, views this year. Unfortunately, they're not up to um, what they were last year. Um, we mainly a lot of it. There was less sports to film this uh, this this year, this calendar year. Um, so that's why you might see a dip, uh, but everything else is pretty stable. Stable, everything else, family, everything's pretty much the same. Um, and then these are our recent uploads um, to our YouTube channel and our channels. Um, so we, so they range from early September to this past Friday. Um, we we've been all over the place, getting more diverse. Um, Programming for the public that's highly related. Um, and then uh, broadband update. Um, so we've been working with uh, Senator Cumberford and Rep Representative Carey's uh, offices to help Cemetery Road, Honeypot Road, and Moody Bridge Road to get broadband to um, their to those uh, to those areas of town. Any and progress? We, it's very much in progress. Um, it's going to take a good year or two um, mm -hmm. because 
we've been active the beat yeah. challenge and that's a federal program where um the federal government's going to be trying to get the, the whole country 100% to uh, 100% all households getting internet so um right now now in this stage any any ISP or internet service providers will be able to pre-approve for application to the Massachusetts Broadband Institute. Um, so, and then they would have to go to the federal government to get approval of their plan, how they're going to implement um, uh, the bead challenge funding for that. Um, and there's a lot going on. There's not much I can say because we are dealing with um, re um, pe le legit people right now. Um, but I, as the select board knows, I do try to keep you guys updated as much as possible outside meetings. Mm -hmm. um, and you're more than welcome to ask me a question at any, at any point about it. I just want to be very careful about how public we are about it. I'm not trying to hide anything. Um, we're just trying to make, th make sure things are running smoothly and that everyone's happy. Um, any questions about broadband? Great. All right, so the steering committee is, is underway. Um, we have a digital equity fair slash public hearing on December 12th here at, the fair will start at three o'clock and the public hearing will start at 6.30 p.m. Um, and we're also, yesterday I met with the senior center's uh, ADF Business Committee. That's the Alzheimer's. Thank you. Um, business com uh, Committee for Digital Skills. I'm um, going to try to help them out with um, getting some fresh laptops, if possible, um, to help uh, um, educate students who don't understand how to even turn a computer on. That's a good way to put it. So we're going to really be starting from the get. You're going to get some help, Jane? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, so, yeah, we're helping out with all their new digital skills uh, curriculums, um, helping um, the um, technology part of it. So um, we're working with the Alliance for uh, Digital Equity on this project, hopefully, um, to get those laptops in. I just got to make sure we are getting some. I just got to make sure people respond and we'll be good to go. The piece about that that you may not think about is your doctor's office says, okay, you're going to have a tele vision appointment and this senior has no clue mm -hmm. as to what's happening and how to deal with it. Yeah. Point. So we need to help people get that. And it's all, it goes all under digital equity where it's simple things like going seeing a doctor online or um, making sure you're finally, or if making sure you're doing basic life things, a lot of things are internet now. So, um, a lot of things are technological and they're only going to get more complicated from here. So, so if we can keep a, be one step ahead, um, we should do that. Any questions so far? How am I doing on time? Speed it up. Great. <laughs> okay, so we're um, the, the committee also decided we're going to continue with the uh, survey. Um, we took a little break because there was three surveys going on. We're hoping to get a few more now that there's less survey surveys going on. And plus the consultants, and the consultants like to give paper copy out to people at the public hearing mm -hmm. um, so that they can fill it out. And, um, and then um, departmental needs. Uh, so these are things that... Um, I, we should uh, talk about in the future. So uh, the first part is um, how the media restructuring and expanding staff for FY26. So if you can tell by the, the gifts here, um, the department needs help. Um, and then we'll also want to work on some uh, personnel and standardization guide. Um, and uh, at some point, the, the select board will need to approve have a final approval for the bead challenge so we so that we can have those areas of town be hooked up to broadband mm -hmm. that won't that won't come until 2025 not sure when but it won't be until next year um and that is the that's the report all right any questions you're welcome
I don't have any further questions, sir. But thank you for your time. You're welcome. If anyone has any other questions, feel free to reach out. You know how to reach me. Yeah. You're going to give us your cell phone number, too? I'll give it to you privately. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, Alex. You got it. All right. Next up is the town administrator's report. Okay. <clears throat> I will go quickly. If you open up the document, you can if you want. Anything in the light green color is what's new since the last report. Um, uh, October 6th, uh, 20, 21st. 21st. <laughs> yes, 21st. Good memory. <laughs> um, so offer made ha, has made and been made and accepted for your human resource director position. Um, the opioid mental health counselor will happen after town meeting once we uh, secure the funding for that. It's benefits coordinator, assessor, and assistant assessor, building department permitting coordinator, and uh, the senior admin assistant to the chief of police all are posted. Um, and uh, I have a selection for my position, and I'll present it next week um, at your select board meeting. Um, Government restructuring committee, we did have a kickoff meeting in between the last select board meeting and now. Uh, it went very well. They selected a chair and a secretary and they discussed next steps and we have another meeting set for next week or the week after. Classification compensation succession study. Uh, I have a meeting set for this Friday with uh, a lady from the human resources department on the Collins the Collin Center to discuss next steps. Your two unions, which were in negotiations, we have potential tentative agreements set. We are simply working on the math uh, so that we can put it on your town warrant and find out how much it's going to cost. Uh, fiber update. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't think I maybe I did tell you this last week, but I'm trying to put together a meeting with the fire chief and the department heads to discuss uh, what's going on with the fiber. It's more of a low level meeting just to keep people on the same page and make sure nothing gets missed so that we can finally complete this project. Uh, if you go all the way down to the landfill municipal solar at the bottom of page two, this project uh, is getting started again. I've met with Jane um, recently uh, to discuss this and this is why you have that article on the warrant so that we can pay for the initial study and get it moving. Um, Hockenham Cemetery Fence, this project is finally back on track. Uh, the workers, the, con the uh, um, <coughs> contractor was there last week and I believe this week as well, and it will be done soon, hopefully. Yeah, he was there today. Yeah, I stopped Thank and you. talked to him. So thank you to Randy and to Scott and to Tommy for basically dragging this across the finish line for the town. Um, they did some some work and had some conversations with those individuals to to kind of get it going. Um, as far as the levy rehab project, I have spoken to the engineer and we expect a final draft report by the end of October. I have something in my calendar to reach out and ping him and um, and get that. Your uh, 234 Middle Street, this should be completed um, totally uh, for the town by November 1st. Um, your Goodwin, uh, the, uh, the Goodwin project, the space needs study is on your town warrant. Library roof, no major changes, but it is still moving forward. There's emails. Yep. Oh, that's right. Yes, we did. We saw people on the roof today. Yeah, so it's still moving forward. They are still working on it. Uh, I have a couple, I have one reminder uh, for you, um, which is for um, the town clerk. She wanted me to remind everybody that in-person early voting starts this Saturday. Uh, the hours are as follows. Saturday, 10, 19, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the clerk's office. Sunday, 10, 20, no evening hours. Monday, 1021 through Friday, 1025, 930, 930 a.m. Yeah. So Sunday, you said no evening hours. That really means no early voting. No hours. early voting hours. I'm sorry. No early voting hours. Um, Monday, the 21st through Friday, the 25th, 5th, 930 to 230 at the clerk's office at Town Hall. 
Saturday, uh, 10, 26, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the clerk's office. Sunday, no early voting again. Thank you, Randy. And Monday, 10, 28 through Friday, November 1st, 9.30 to 2.30 at the clerk's office. Um, that's all I have for you for the report for this week. Okay, that's quite a bit. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, do we have any liaison reports? Not I. Okay, not I. Anybody have any announcements? Mm -mm. Okay. <clears throat> Item 10, we're going to go into executive session. So I'll... We need Amy's expertise <laughs> on this. All right. I would like to make a motion to move into executive session pursuant with Mass General Law Chapter 30A, Section 21A3, to discuss strategy with respect um, to collective bargaining or litigation. If an open meeting law may have a detrimental effect on the bargaining or litigating position of the public body for the compensation study, the Municipal Employee Union Firefighter Union, and... Mm, Mm -mm. Hold on a second. It's a little wonky. Sorry. No, you're fine. Okay. Um, the Municipal Employee Union Firefighter Union. Um, and is there another one? Yeah, there's a bunch. Okay. Yeah, no, no. It's, um. hang on a second. Can you not see them? No, I can see them. I'm just trying to, like, get the sentence structure right. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so okay, so it's going to be for the compensation study, the municipal employees union, um, UPSEU local four two four, um, and um, MADIV one twenty nine, the firefighters union, IAF local four five eight six. And executive session uh, and the following executive session minutes in accordance with Chapter 30A, Sections 22FG, uh, October 19th, 2022, February 17th, 2021, uh, March 17th, 2021, March 31st, 2021, April 7th, 2021, April 14th, 2021. August 4th, 2021, October 13th, 2021, February 5th, 2020, April 4th, 2020, uh, March 4th, 2020, October 7th, 2020, November 4th, 2020, December 6th, 2020, January 23rd, 2019, April 3rd, 2019, July 17th, 2019, September 4th, 2019, September 25th, 2019, November 13th, 2019, December 4th, 2019, and December 11th, 2019, and we will also not be reconvening an open session. So, Amy, okay, thank you. We have a motion and a second. As chair of the Hadley Select Board, I state that the board has moved and seconded to enter into executive session and that I state that discussing the matter in open session will have a detrimental impact on the bargaining position of the town of Hadley. Roll call vote, please, Jennifer. Roll call vote, Nevin Smith? Yes. Iser? Yes. And Parsons? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so that's the end of the open session tonight. Recording is stopped. <laughs>